Marcus Ramon is a senior designer at Hallmark and is known for his colorful style. He has always found inspiration in African and South American cultures. I think my first obsession started in grade school when we had to resist had to research Tayo, the indigenous people of Puerto Rico and the Caribbean, says Marcos. One can see the influence of a rich cultural history apparent in his work. He continues, I actually love to make masks and costumes on my own time. So let's take a look at some of the faces that he draws. So if you take a look at these, there's a lot of simple shapes. What simple shapes can you see? I see a lot of semicircles and rectangles and triangles. There's also a lot of simple patterns made with just black and white lines, both straight lines, diagonal lines, curved lines. And he's also adding like uh, circles in there and repeating them. Okay, let's take a look at some more. Uh, this one on the left has a lot of circles that create patterns here. Okay, he uses that a lot more in the others. And then a ton more examples here. So we are going to make our own face inspired by his work. So just take a look at all the different ways that he creates faces. Okay, so I'm starting to use my Sharpie and I'm just going over top of all of my pencil lines. Okay, and you can start to fill in uh, areas if you want it to be all black. Okay, if you want some areas to be all black, you just have to go over, just have to go over top of all of those lines. So this is gonna take a little bit. All right, so I have finished outlining or going over top of all of my pencil lines. Okay, took forever. So here comes the fun part. So last class we drew our faces inspired by Marcos Roman and we went over all the pencil lines and filled in some areas. If you are not done with going over your pencil lines, please take a few minutes to finish that before you move on. And make sure you've got some areas filled in completely black. You could add some dots, okay, into your patterns. So make sure you've done that, including going around the outside of your mask. So all of your pencil lines. Our next step is to add some color with that to this mask. And we're gonna use the watercolors. I'll have a cup of water and a brush. And we're gonna use a technique called wet on wet. So that's where you are going to get your brush wet with just water. And you're gonna paint just water on a large area of your mask. And then you can pick a color and get the watercolor with your brush. And you're gonna spread it over top of that water and you're gonna notice how it's gonna bleed. Mm -hmm. And then this is really great once you've done part of an area and you switch to another color and you can watch them bleed together. So you don't have to worry about filling in specific areas with specific colors or filling in you know, just that line. You can kind of have fun with the wet on wet technique. So you continue adding an area of just water to your face. And then the watercolor paint over top and you can watch it kind of bleed together. Now I 
want you to stick with using three colors. So stick with just three colors. So I have already chosen my three colors here and I'm gonna continue adding them and water to my mask. It's really kind of fun to watch them bleed into one another. And I'm sticking in the outline of my mask. I'm not doing the background right now. But I will show you what you can do with the background in a moment. So I'm gonna keep going. Now remember, when you switch colors, you wanna rinse off your brush. painting water first then some paint right on top of the water so do small areas don't try and paint the whole thing with water and then put color on because the water is gonna dry before you even get your color on so I just do like I'm gonna do the center part here Put some water on top, put some paint into that water. It's a kind of a cool effect. Okay. And now I'm gonna do the top part. You can see it's starting to already bleed over there. So stick with three colors only. Don't go completely crazy here. Also, don't use black because you've already outlined in black. If you have a really light area and you want to add a little bit more color to it, go for it. Okay. You can kind of do that. All right. So that is the wet on wet technique. Now you've got all this white space around the outside and you can pick an entirely different color to do around the outside of your mask and make it really pop. For me, I'm gonna go with orange. And I'm not gonna use wet on wet for this. I'm just going to use the paint right out of the thing. No other layer. And I'm just gonna fill in. Now, the one thing I will recommend is when you get close to an area that is still wet on your mask, be a little careful because it's gonna bleed in to your mask. So you might wanna leave a slight gap there. So be a little careful or wait a minute for it to dry. Mm, see, I had a little bit there. Splitting out, splitting.
Whoop. And yep, see I've got a little bleeding there, but it's okay. All right. And now you're just gonna let this dry. Uh, please put it over, well, listen to your teacher where they want you to put it, but maybe over by the windowsill. Do not put it right back in your folder. Let it dry first, okay? And I cannot wait to see how these turned out. I'm sure they look amazing.